it's very common after an automobile accident to experience chest pain. And there's a lot of different reasons why your chest might be hurting after an automobile accident. But it's extremely important to get it checked out to make sure that you get the proper treatment. You could have perhaps a broken sternum, broken ribs, bruised ribs, an esophagus problem, or even perhaps an internal organ or maybe even bleeding that's occurring. And you want to make sure that you get the proper medical treatment for numerous reasons. One being you need to get better and two being you need to document your injuries when you're trying to sue the at-fault vehicle for your pain and suffering. The mechanism for these types of injuries are usually twofold. One would be the seatbelt that extends down to your lap uh, and up through your shoulder. It can press on you and cause a fracture or bruising. And likewise, you can have a steering wheel that comes forward at you from the dashboard and it can press upon your chest, maybe causing fractures, tears, and maybe even internal bleeding or organ damage. Uh, these are the common type of mechanisms, but the most important thing is to get to a hospital, to get to a doctor, get it checked out. So not only will you be getting the treatment you need, but you're documenting your injury so that when you go to make a claim for your pain and suffering, all the information is right there proving your injuries and making sure that the documentation is in order.